is the important race of the day. This is where the Division 1 Championship will be sorted out. Very close between Bjorn Skogstad, there he is, 104, and the current European Division 1 champion, 101, Kenneth Hansen, in the, the VP pack car. Uh, he's on the outside of the front row. Um, Trevor Reeves is in there somewhere. As you said earlier on, uh, could be uh, could be a fire in the ointment. But even Oakland, who of course holds a track record here, is also in the A final. No. So here we go. Right, well, no one's broken the track record uh, in qualifying for this one. And off from pole position, it's Oakland. Oakland making a good start. Kenny Hansen going in there. Kenny, who we hear from the party, has got a bit of engine trouble with his car. He didn't do third. He, uh, Oakland didn't do third runs because he had qualified for pole. Trevor Reeves is in second place. Skogstad's in third. Kenny Hansen's in fourth. And if Kenny Hansen can hang on to fourth place and Skogstad doesn't win it, Hansen will still be the uh, European champion for the second year in succession. And it is those two drivers having a very close scrap at the moment, but I think Skogstad's got the more fitter car. You can see clouds of smoke pouring from Kenny Hansen's car. Now this is it. Kenny Hansen goes. He's overtaken there by Hunspet. Hunspet, the winner of the B final. He's up now into the top four. Ludwig Hunspet. There comes your Ranley completing the six cars, but it's even Oppland leading. Oppland leading. Skogstad's in third place. That's not good. Good enough at the moment. Skogstad's got to win this one with Kenny Hansen down in fourth, and that will give Skogstad the championship. It's right down to the wire, as they say, the very last race of the year. Trevor Reeves is in trouble, and I think it's a near side front tyre flat, and that's put everybody up a place. That's put everybody up a place. No luck here for Trevor Reeves this afternoon. Kenny Hansen from Sweden still going in the BP Sax entry, but off the lead. Skogstad is now second, losing a bit of bodywork there. Huntsman is a marvellous third place through from the winning the B final into third place, and Uranley can sense there's something wrong with the car of the Swedish driver and of course if Uranley can get past the Swede he will be helping his fellow countrymen to uh, take uh, Skogstad to take the title it's all between Norway and Sweden here at the moment are there going to be any tactics between the drivers to try and help fellow members of their country or is everybody out to win a race well now uh, Kenny Hansen getting past Huntsmith there taking his bumper off and Huntsmith going very very wrong in the chicane and that I think is the end of the challenge of Ludwig Huntsmith meantime the challenge of Bjorn Skogstad is very, very much on. And Skogstad leads. Opland, who's looked very good all through the weekend, though, remember. And Opland used to hold the track record here with his big Volvo Turbo. He likes the Lidden Circuit. He seems to excel on fast tracks. And Bjorn Skogstad chasing him. The Norwegians go 1-2. And it's Skoggy there in second place. Skogstad, the man who told me that yesterday that he's going to be concentrating on some circuit racing next year, as well as Rallycross, looking for the Division 1 crown here in Group A. But can he do it? He He's got to get past Opland. Will Opland let him by and help his fellow countrymen to the title? Where is Hansen? Is Hansen in the top three at the checkered flag? It's Opland wins it. Very happy and uh, yeah, that's my first victory this season and uh, you see, I'm very happy.